Today we have a new project. It's a kitchen for Mr. Tyrone and uh, it's a little fun little space that's been uh, working for them and it's been super super tight. They want to open it up and they want to enjoy the space they want to entertain and they want to have fun in this kitchen and it's kind of hard with this little space that they have right now uh, tyrone tried to do a little bit of a diy in here and it didn't uh, he did what he could best let's put it this way and as you see some of the cabinets behind are you know here are some custom made cabinets and um again it was just done on the budget something that was that that you know just to have it there and it's and it's cool and it's nice i mean it worked for a little bit uh, but at the end now he said i have the money i want somebody to design this space and make it more exciting and entertaining and uh, functional most of all you know let's break those walls let's open this up let's put an island let's make this kitchen uh, functional so yeah so it's not working for them here again one of those scenarios where we have the staircase going to the basement and uh, there's not much we can do with that so the staircase has to be there and we just gotta stick with it uh, so this is staying uh, basically I'm also having a bit of a fun with my 360 camera and the wall right here this whole baby is gonna go we're gonna just blow it out and uh, open it up so the the door entrance to the house is right there and um, most likely this is a support load-bearing wall so we might need some reinforcements so they liked some of the ideas that I proposed um, one of them potentially having a post in this corner uh, right here because there's just uh, needs to be a support and uh, again looking at the budget and the numbers when we get to that we're gonna look if we can actually put a beam uh, which is possible if this is a bungalow so we could you know we can recess the beam we can have an exposed beam there's lots of options at the end of the day it all depends on your budget I mean you know we can do anything but uh, there's always a budget and a cost associated with that so right now we're designing a kitchen and hoping for the best that this wall is gonna go and there's gonna be no support so we are hoping it's not a load bearing wall however it's only personally it's 70 percent that it's not and then this heating stuff is all good so we're getting rid of this wall and we're gonna start designing right now uh, let's get into it so again I'm using the 2020 design and I have uh, all my measurements and maybe I'm gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to watch me click 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 and then I'll just show you the end result <music> Okay, there we go. So we have the kitchen done. Everything is nicely opened up and hopefully this is going to be the case for the clients because they will be overly excited and thrilled to have this open concept and have no post at all. So here just an open an open nice open concept. So we have uh, on this wall 
basically where we had the door originally is uh, is we is um so we're closing the, the the wall the idea is to close the wall and then the entrance to the to the backyard is on the side here and basically putting a pantry so framing the fridge nicely and making it symmetrical between that this step in the wall and building out this wall as well to kind of protect or and hide these cabinets so when you look at the kitchen when you come in into the space you're not you're not just uh, they want to have some privacy they want to be able to have some sort of uh, okay this is my kitchen so this is actually where you would come in so you see, you know part of the kitchen is being blocked including the fridge and then you see this gable which would be the cabinet stepping out the reason i give them an extra cabinet this and bumped out is because uh, right now the step is only three, about three feet so when you're working and turn uh, um, towards on a fridge wall looking at the wall that's really not a, a, a functional uh, workspace because it's so short so I extended it and made it larger so now when you're washing the dishes you're actually or even if you're prepping and getting stuff out of the fridge you put it on the countertop and then you go to the sink you're actually able to use that countertop as your working area I mean again I you, most likely now they're going to be using their island as working area because I made the island huge and if we're going to have no post we might end up having a to come up with idea and incorporate a post into here so I'm thinking if we have a post maybe do two posts on each end of the island and this way have an overhang uh, into the dining room as well so kind of make it interesting like that uh, but for now finger crossed that this is all gonna go and it's all gonna work out this way and we're just gonna blow out that wall and call it day and here they have lots of room for a table I mean if this would be my kitchen I would just fully go all the way to the end just go big and then put a mega big island and be done with it but they do have a traditional dining table and they do use it they have a smaller younger kids and uh, they like that kind of feel of a table and not just being on taller chairs and uh, you know it's a, it's a different kind of uh, dining when you're dining at the island it's more of a trendy kind of you know wine and cheese and let's quick 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 get out instead of uh, where you have a table where people sit down it's more formal it's a totally different experience so again it's very personal so it's your personal preference uh also added a lot of drawers i made the the symmetry around the hood uh, so we have the cabinets the cabinets around the window are very tight to the casing and um, we have a gas stove or electric we, on the left of the stove we have a pull out spice rack and then we have a dishwasher and again this is going to be a storage as well lots of storage on the island it's about five feet by four or three and a half uh, and uh, so let's see let's see we're going to meet the client go over these details see uh what their th thoughts are on this and then maybe make some adjustments i'm gonna give them a suggestion to kind of extend the cabinetry you know if they want to go like this is also a good area where now it's just going to be a blank wall so if they really want to push it not just to upsell but actually give them a lot of storage is i would make this wall into like a nice glass uh, decorative uh, storage hutch kind of unit right so this is this would be my idea instead of just having a blank wall they don't have a backyard door or anything like that they could still have something nice or eventually they could purchase a unit they have a unit standing there now i don't think it's gonna fit the kitchen maybe on or unless they paint it white but uh, let's let's see i mean again at the end of the day uh, when you're building a dream kitchen you're building it for many many years so it's just uh, my job is to give them recommendations and suggestions and they're they're the at the end of the day they decide you know if they need more storage i mean from what they have right now this is a beautiful space it's lots of additional storage and uh, 
it's more open uh, you know you can have two cooks cooking in this kitchen it has its zones uh, microwave is tucked away behind the fridge it has its uh, junk corner the way I call it so all of the stuff you know your toaster your blender all of that just goes behind in that corner that's a huge landing area so you don't have to keep your stuff on the countertop so you can actually have the main kitchen counter nice and clean so very very good layout and and I'm pretty sure they would like this and um, again maybe we're gonna tweak this around when we meet and let's see what happens after our meeting and uh, if you have any other questions and recommendations for the design please comment them below don't forget to hit the like for this video because likes make me go up the ladder of YouTube and uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'm able so I'm able to create more interesting and fun videos for you guys and hopefully give you recommendations and suggestions to solve your issues and again a giveaway in this video is going to be a free kitchen design so everybody that comments below and I'm just going to do a random draw out of somebody's comments and whoever I pick I'm gonna create your kitchen we're gonna make a video and uh, we're gonna make it fun